So what happens when the burden all gets too heavy? Now, if you give me a couple of minutes here, we're going to look at the topic of releasing stress and trauma and why it is so vitally important for first responders. And just for giving me your time, I'd love to give you a free five day trial of my Sovereign Soldier program so you can actually learn how to do some of this stuff. And in case you didn't already know, my name is Celeste and I am the founder of Project Tempest and it's my mission to help female first responders survive and thrive through training, tools and tactics because you guys matter. So if we don't address and deal with stresses and traumas and these are the, the macro things and the micro things, you know, the small day to day things and of course the much bigger life altering things, it's going to have significant consequences for you physically, emotionally, mentally. If we don't deal with this physically, we have an increased risk of chronic disease. Stress, we know already, is linked to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, and a general weakened immune system, which means you're going to get sick so much more often. Then, of course, we have development of mental health uh, disorders, things like PTSD, anxiety, um, depression. And, of course, then we have the... The things that come along with that, the impaired cognitive function, so your ability to actually just focus and remember things and make decisions on the day to day. And that's ultimately going to affect behavior. We may start to take risks, um, turn to substances and things that allow us to escape and cope, but ultimately have a knock on effect on our physical health relationships will struggle it's very very difficult to actually maintain and forge quality relationships when you are struggling so much and of course your communication is going to be a huge factor in that if you cannot communicate well you're not going to be able to maintain good relationships and that's going to affect your performance at work it's going to affect your performance across the board all of this combined is going to affect your quality of life you're not going to feel as satisfied. You're going to struggle and end up in this cycle of dysfunction. And ultimately, if we don't do something about that, this is going to persist and we just stay stuck. And then ultimately life gets to a point where it's really, really a struggle. So for most people, they're not really doing anything to deal with this, be that a lack of resources and a lack of actual help available or in some instances, it's just not feeling prepared to deal with it. It can be ignoring it, sedation to numb it out. It can be overindulging in other things that make you feel good to get that rush. It can be overwhelming, uh, overworking. It can be, you know, doing anything, but actually facing it and dealing with it. So we end up carrying it and we keep carrying it and storing it up until something triggers us and then it comes out. And that often results in poor decisions, um, taking non-useful actions and a little bit of a shit show all around. So how can we deal with it? Well, the first step is to actually recognize it and then take steps to actively seek help. Help from mental health professionals, um, you know, therapy, counseling, whatever mechanism is going to work best for you is something that's worth exploring. You know, doing the work to develop healthy coping mechanisms. And there's so many different ways to do this. It doesn't have to be just the traditional approach, you know, because that doesn't work for everybody. Works great for some people and not so well for others. It's about you finding the one that works best for yourself. Now, for me personally, I've spoken about this many times before. I prefer a mix of psychological work and physiological work. So hitting things from multiple angles, a top down and a bottom up approach. The ability to actually just deal with the past and then prepare for the future by raising your stress tolerance, by raising your resilience, and then ultimately spending time on a daily and a weekly basis dealing with these smaller things so that they don't build up and that you're more prepared when the bigger things do happen. So this kind of multifaceted approach to dealing with things. If that's something you want to have a go at, just drop me a line and I'll set you up with that five day trial and uh, you'll be able to actually explore this further and start to take some decisive action to see if this approach is right for you.